This video is about sliding window flow control. A big problem with stop and wait flow control is that it has poor link utilization. In other words, there's lots of times when the communication line is dormant. Sliding window flow control improves upon this by sending several frames between acknowledgments from the receiver. So let's say we want to send several frames. So we'll list out a number for each frame, starting at zero. The list goes on forever. Now, while we'll be sending several different and unique frames, we're also going to assign a sequence number to each frame, which is a little number that will be part of the header information in the frame. And we're only going to use a small number of bits for the sequence number. For this example, we'll only be using two bits, which means the numbers we can represent are 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to keep reusing these sequence numbers and we end up with a repeating sequence like so. So the sequence 0, 1, 2, 3 repeats over and over and over again. So given that we have a finite number of sequence numbers and we want to keep sending frames, we can use a sliding window to determine which frames have been sent, which frames are safe to send before receiving an acknowledgement, and which ones have or haven't been acknowledged yet. Because we are using frame numbers 0 through 3, our window size will be 3. In other words, one less than the number of distinct sequence numbers. I'll depict the source as having a list of frame sequence numbers it wants to send. So it wants to send frames with sequence numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on to some receiver or destination. And the destination is expecting these frames. So it knows that the next frame it should receive should have a sequence number of 0, and after that it should receive a frame with a sequence number of 1, and then two, and so on in the same repeating sequence. Now here's where the sliding window comes in. We'll draw a box around the sequence numbers that are in the window. I mentioned that the window size would be one less than the total number of sequence numbers we could represent, so we go from zero to two. That's our window. The destination has a similar window. And I'm also going to draw a thick vertical bar here on both the source and destination sides. Now, every sequence number that ends up on the left-hand side of this vertical bar is one whose receipt has been acknowledged. This applies for both the source and the destination. So once this bar passes a sequence number, the source is saying it has received the acknowledgement. Once the bar passes it on the destination side, it is saying that it has sent the acknowledgement. In addition to that, we have these windows. And the window will gradually shorten as frames get sent. So let's just look at an example to see how this works. At the beginning of this process, the window encompasses the frames that the source can send before receiving an acknowledgement from the destination. So for example, let's say the source sends a frame with sequence number 0. The window got slightly smaller because a frame with sequence number 0 was sent, and the next frame for the source to send will have a sequence number of 1. When the destination receives the frame with sequence number 0, its window will get smaller in a similar fashion. So far, the destination has received frame 0 but has not acknowledged it yet. It is possible that the source can continue sending frames even though it has not yet received an acknowledgement. In fact, that is what will happen next. The source sends frame 1. Now two frames have been sent, and so far only one has been received at the destination. Now let's say that while frame 1 is in transit, the destination confirms that it has received 
frame zero. What it sends is a ready to receive message. It will send a packet saying it is ready to receive a frame with sequence number one. This implicitly indicates that frame zero and any other preceding frames were safely received. At the point when the destination acknowledges that it has received frame zero, this vertical bar moves. At the same time the vertical bar moves, the right edge of the window also expands. The distance between this vertical bar and the right edge of the sliding window should always be the same. In this example it is always three because we have four sequence numbers. Shortly after acknowledging receipt of frame zero, frame one, which was sent by the source, is received by the destination, so the window slides again. And then shortly after the ready to receive message from the destination makes its way to the source, which causes this vertical bar to move as well. Notice that the source's vertical bar only moves past the zero. It does not move past the one because the destination has not acknowledged receipt of frame one yet. It said it was ready to receive one, but that does not indicate that it had yet received it. Also note that when this vertical bar moves, the source's window should expand as well. As with the destination, the distance between this vertical bar and the far right edge of the window should always be the same. Now at this point, it is safe for the source to send frames with sequence numbers two and three. So let's say that it does that in rapid succession. It sends frame two and then it sends frame three. We get the following result. There are no more frames in the window. This means that the source has reached the maximum number of frames it can send safely. This will prevent the source from overwhelming the destination. This is good because the destination may be overwhelmed with processing packets from other machines, or it could be doing some sort of intensive CPU operation that takes time away from its ability to address the waiting frames in its queue. The source will be forced to wait until the destination sends some sort of acknowledgement. Eventually, these frames show up here, and this window shrinks as well. These frames are waiting for the destination to process, but have not been acknowledged yet. Finally, the destination gets around to acknowledging these frames. It will acknowledge them all at once with a single message. It says, I am ready to receive frame zero. This bar moves, and the window will slide open again, like so. The destination has said, I'm ready to receive zero. The source is still waiting for that acknowledgement. It eventually shows up, at which point this bar moves over and the window expands. Now the source can continue sending frames. If all goes well, both source and destination will remain roughly in sync, varying from each other only by small amounts. However, in networks, we know that problems can always arise frames can be lost or may simply take too long to arrive and then timeouts will occur data may need to be resent we'll find out how this happens using sliding window flow control in the next video